Welcome back to Elvis Fans Matter. And we're going to uh, answer a few questions this go around and see what we can accomplish, if anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, we're, we're ready. And uh, first question is going to be from the mouth of Babe mm -hmm. Danielle Smith. All right. Um, let's see. Y'all have to give us a minute. We slow We're trying to get old and slow. Prepared. Um, here's one um, from a, a viewer of ours um, that I talked to a good bit, James Meredith. He asked about makeup on stage. He said he knows that Elvis wore makeup on stage when he was on TV, but did he? Was it a rule that he wore it on concert, or what? Did he have a, a, a rule or a deal? with the makeup what he did when it was just performing oh yeah it, i mean you know before he went on stage man he had to put on mascara <laughs> eyeliner i'm gonna tell you the works and with a face like that he didn't need makeup <laughs> That's true. uh but he did wear it sometimes he did wear it sometimes if they were uh like filming uh the concert or something uh he would wear uh, makeup, you know, because they wanted him to. And uh, but most of the time, no, he, he didn't. But sometimes he did, like I say. You know, and, and a lot of times, the reason he didn't like to when he was on stage is because he would sweat. Yeah. And the makeup would run, and it would get in his eyes, and and uh, he had he yeah. had problems with his eyes before about. You know things like that, and he did. He didn't like it to be uh, to have to worry with it. This is true. Very. This true. is true. But mm -hmm. of course, uh, you know the movie years and all. He had to uh, in the movies, to. and that's why a lot of times he would like to, uh, you know, to uh, lay out in the, uh, the sun and, and <laughs> keep a tan if he could. Uh, and with that. There's not a, much else I can add. But there's a story we can add. Is um, He uh, decided one day he wanted to get out in the sun and uh, get a little tan. Get a little tan, So yeah. we went down to the pool with him. But the things we had to carry, uh, a big fan, a big thing of ice water. A towel. A towel. Uh. Um... <laughs> I think an umbrella, which I don't think he used, but we we had it, and he sun and some um, lotion. He had to so, have all that. Yeah, but but when he went to lay out in the sun, he had on his pajamas, yeah. <laughs> his robe, and uh, he said, you know, just because uh, the jumpsuits and all that came down, he wanted to get his hands tan, yeah, his he, face tan, and he would his sleeves would be pulled up about like that. Yeah. And 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 his pajamas would, would be opened about right here. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, so. I remember. I, and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> he got me to rub um, lotion on his face and right here on his chest, and he rubbed it on the tops of his hands. And we stayed. We got all set up. Got the chairs that we were going to sit in and everything. He was all laid back in the lounger by the pool, and about mm, ten minutes. <laughs> Yeah, 10, maybe maybe 15 if he was, you know. He said, okay, the hell with that. That's enough. <laughs> and we went back inside. It took longer to bring yeah. everything out. It took longer to bring all the stuff out <laughs> and get the fan hooked up out there to blow right on him while he was on. <laughs> he was funny. He had his way of doing things, that's for sure. <laughs> and that. And with that, we'll you. take another question. Um... Right one that's kind of fun is um, did Elvis or and y'all with him? Did you ever watch The Exorcist? And what did he think about that movie? Oh, and yeah, God. we watched it. You know, <laughs> at the movie theater, we went to see it. And, oh, you know, his favorite he, part. He, yeah, he, you know, he it was he liked it. It was a uh, you know uh, one of his favorite parts. So was like uh, when her head. Turned all the way around. <laughs> he started laughing. He said, "You know, he said that's <laughs> reminds me of, and I'm not gonna say who." <laughs> <laughs> but he said, "You know, that's uh, 
I wish I could do that. He said, that way I could look all the way around me when I got ready again. And uh, he also said, you know, it looked like a hoot owl, you know, it, it move its neck that far around. And it's other things, you know, when but, but he, got, he got to laughing about different things that, that happened in it. Uh, he would find humor in, in, in anything, in anything yeah. though, right. that was, you know, I, I think sometimes he did that because... Um, not to get too deep into it and, and you know that it bothered him or anything he would just laugh at it yeah. and it was kind of funny <laughs> it was yeah and hear him talking about it you know that was yeah because he, he had to do all the <laughs> the <laughs> things that go along with it <laughs> all right what about the movie jaws oh yeah. that was joe Joe Esposito. We <laughs> called him Gaul. I was lost like me. <laughs> no, he called. That's what that was. Joe Esposito. That was one of Joe's nickname. nicknames. You know. Yeah, <laughs> we went to the Whitehaven Plaza to see Jaws. I couldn't wait to see that movie. Uh, when when a new movie came out, Elvis always he liked got it, it. Yeah. and uh, we'd go to the movie theater to see it. And he loved Jaws. Uh, he liked you know. He liked it as a as a movie and all. Mm -hmm. you know. Each old, no. He thought how many people it would feed. Yeah. <laughs> but he didn't eat fish, so he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> but he watched y'all. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he did, did like the and movie. he liked it. Okay. Um, for Billy and Joe both, um, did y'all have jobs that were particular jobs for each of you on tour? Work, 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 work. <laughs> uh, I didn't like to work. No, I didn't do nothing if I could get out of there. Yeah, I, okay. yeah well, if you want to call it a job, yeah. I mean, it was like um, um, moral support for Elvis. <laughs> yeah. No, we had certain things um, we had to do. You know, uh, uh, one of my jobs on tour and all was, you know, I, he wanted to make sure that, that uh, I was the only one that woke him up. Mm -hmm. And uh, make sure you know, he got up in time and he had a chance to eat and order his breakfast and yeah and things like that you know and also all of us had the job to get ready you know get the the, the outfits ready and and uh, if we were leaving uh, that night to go to another town for the next night then we had to get everything packed yeah. and, and ready and. And you know what? That, that took a lot of lot of time, and we had to do all that. And when when he got to uh, to the place that you know he was performing at, uh, had the dressing room, make sure everything there was ready, and and him getting ready and getting him to His the stage. And thing. some of the guys, you know, uh, like uh, uh, well, back then it was you know. Uh, David uh, Stanley and Ricky and and Dick and 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 uh, some of the other guys. Now what they would do, some of those guys would go on up out to the stage and get in their places, you know, to as security, you know, and all that. To make sure nothing was in his way or yeah. that he mm -hmm. stepped and right. lighted it, and, you know, light. Make and sure then, he had light then to then walk. A, some of us other guys would bring him on and, and guide him to and tell him how many steps it was and stuff like that, you know, because, you know, you, you, a lot of those places would be real easy to trip. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, because they're to, dark in some areas and then the bright well, lights yeah, that, on. And, you know, you've got a, the yeah. lights, you know. They uh, turned the you, lights down, too, before yeah. he got before ready to come on stage, yeah. And then, you know, after he got on stage with the, that, you know, big. So we all had different jobs, but uh, you know, uh, I didn't. I didn't really. Uh, Mom was just enjoying the yeah. trip and the trip. entertainment, and a lot of times after a show, we would uh, sit and talk with him. Or sometimes he'd come to our room and yeah, and talk and and just really, like I said, moral support and you know things like that. He just um, he liked people that he was close to around him after the yeah, after, after that, the cause show he, you know and, he liked to try to wind down you yeah. know, and, and all and talk and stuff to get his uh, you know 
so he could sleep and get ready yeah, for the next ready for cause the that, next one. Because on tour, it was one night after another. Mm -hmm. Unless he was playing two, two nights. shows in the same area yeah. on the same place. It was a different was hotel getting, every yeah. night for, for us uh, for about, what, 14 or 15 days at yeah. a time. But um, yeah. it was exciting. It was. It was. That was, it was, and that was that. another question for you was okay. that they've heard it said before that he did only want you to wake him up yeah. when you were on tour. Yeah. And that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's true. true. Yeah. Okay. And uh, after the show and all, when we got back to the hotel, you know, we'd uh, go in and he'd want me to come in and, and stay in there and talk to him and mm -hmm. whoever else was with him, you know, whether it was, you know, uh, Ginger or you know, whoever. Whoever. You know, just talk and let him wind down, mm -hmm. you know, which took a while. You know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, you know, you could see him on stage and you could understand how, how it would take him how a while. How he'd be hyped up. Yeah. He would, yeah. Yeah. No. But some of it you can think, you'd be exhausted that from moving around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all the lot, the heat and stuff, yeah. just be tired. Yeah. yeah. Well, he was, but you know, he was also, you know, you get hyped that up, hyped up. Yeah. And yeah. And, you know, yeah. you know and come off and all of a sudden it's just a... You know, drop. Just a drop. You got to hit. But you know, uh, down. You know. Yeah. He always had a sold out. Every wow. show was right. sold out. So I mean, you know, he uh, he did some great, <laughs> great concerts. He did that now. All right, Nanny. All right. Um, it's kind of a funny one because Nanny had was telling me a little bit about it, but said, did Elvis ever have to use karate in his real life for like a <laughs> real fight? <laughs> Me and him got into it one time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can imagine what, about that, how the turnout was on that. <laughs> no, we didn't. No. I chopped him Not up. Not karate, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I think I know what he said. Oh. No, we, we were out riding. With no, that's like, one thing. Thank goodness that he... Uh, he didn't have to use it, but have, he, he thought he was going to have to. One time, I know he did, yeah. He... Uh, it was a little store. Was that on uh, Winchester? I believe uh, it was. Uh, it was on, on Winchester we riding. And, uh, we stopped out for gas, didn't we? And yeah. he went in to get with... I, if I remember right, we were on our motorcycle. Uh -huh. He wanted to stop to get a drink. Uh huh. And uh, That's another thing, too. A lot of times when we were out, uh, we, he would stop mostly to get... A snack or drinks or something like that. It would always be a service station or a place like that mm -hmm. that he could, you know, sit out on and somebody could run in and get it. He mo mostly, you know, that was somebody else's job. He 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 had them run in and get it. Like he told Lisa, that you know, I have people that do that for me <laughs> when she wanted me, him to fix her tire on the golf cart. Yeah, daddy don't. Daddy do don't like do that. things I like have that. People do it for me. But the guy in the store. Uh, he saw Elvis, and I guess, you know, just to think, my God, I, I can't believe he's in here. You know, he was a he stunned, was actually a, a stun, yeah. yeah. He was a fan, and uh, when he saw him, he went into a karate stance. And Elvis, you know, kind of backed up, and he went into one. He thought, you know, of course, that was, it was a big, big, juicy story when he came back out telling that. But he didn't know if the guy was going to try to attack really? him, or, oh, you know, to and then the guy, him or not. Yeah, yeah. But then the guy put his hand out to shake hands with him, and Elvis, about they were in there, though, and stared at each other for a minute. You know, I mean, you can imagine seeing Elvis in a thing, a stance and the other guy too. But um, the what? guy put his hand out to shake hands, and Elvis shook hands with him. And, and it was. Of course, it was more drama when he came out. <laughs> what was funny too is uh, he was going to get a, a a drink, and uh, he said uh, he said you want to get me a drink, and I said yeah I would. I said I ain't got no money, and he said what. He didn't either. <laughs> he, and he said, well, I hadn't got any. You're supposed to have some money with you. I said, why? I don't either. 
buy, buy a drink. I said, I, I just didn't bring any with me. And so he said, well, we'll have to take care of that. And the guy in the store said, don't worry about it, Mr. Presley. He said, what do you want to drink? He said, I'd be more than happy to buy it for you. <laughs> and he did. A lot of times, though, uh, nobody carried money. Uh, Elvis never carried money. Uh, I mean, somebody else would go and get it, whatever he wanted. They'd go get it for him. He didn't, like he said, he didn't do things like that. And at that time, I didn't have any with me. I really didn't. And, you know, uh, but from then on, guess what? You had some money. I had <laughs> money. You know, I know. I made I, sure I had money. I'm not talking about Elvis getting it to me. I mean, I kept. Yeah, I kept home. money. We had kept to keep money. Keep money. Know, That's what he made a rule. Really, never, never did. I, I never expected, you know. <laughs> no, but he made a rule after that, you know. Yeah. Every one of you guys better have money on you when we <laughs> go out. So they had expense money anyway, but um. At the time, uh, at the time we we didn't have any expense money. I didn't have any. Uh, but it was a funny story. Anyway, anyway that's great. Um, let's see. Was there any place that Elvis didn't like to perform? One of the viewers wants to know, did he ever mention, well, after he left the show, oh, I don't, you know, I don't want to perform here. I can't ever, I don't no. remember one, do you? No, uh, he enjoyed every, every concert every he, he did and never Never place yeah. regardless, you know. Uh, he enjoyed the, he, he, with his fans, the, personal uh the way they were with him and and uh the way he was with them he he loved um i don't guess he really cared where he, what no, city was in didn't matter. uh he didn't like performing outside outside I, you know outdoors at all uh, just uh, like you said you lose the feeling of the crowd and, 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 and you really, also lose the you know the, the closeness yeah and the sounds not good and I want to be able to you know be with my fans and all and you know and perform and be able to see them and them see me without you know uh, moving well, around too, yeah. weather because once one's planned mm -hmm. it's hard to change it to an indoor venue depending on where you're located and I mean if it's pouring down rain and they've got tickets well yeah. you're gonna perform and they can stand in it uh, or lose their money. Yeah. Yeah. And another thing too, the only time I saw outside, except in the real early days, he was so far away from the fans. He was too far away from them. That's what you were talking about. He didn't yeah. like to be that far away. He liked to be able to make eye contact. But um, a lot of times and in the early days, he was real close to the, uh, you know, like on the flatbed trucks and uh, yeah. um, old uh, theaters and places like that, you yeah. know. that's true. Now, uh, and also, you know, he liked the, the kissing, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, all the ladies wanted to kiss him. And, yeah. Uh, uh, he never worried about, you know, getting the infection or germs or anything like he never worried about that you know he just um, you know he uh he'd try to kiss as many as he could you know without you know <laughs> taking up too much time you know in the performance but yeah uh he enjoyed that of course, he knew his, they loved it so yeah and of course you know his lips kept getting bigger in the early <laughs> days he was real um conscious of um um yeah, I don't germs know. and things like that because uh, you know, for a while he had his own um, utensils that he took with him to play, yeah. you know, places yeah. because he didn't want to use anybody else's. But you know, that's a lot of people do that. I've done that before myself. Yeah, but he but he had to get out of that. Company. Yeah, he, he traveled too much. Yeah, just went yeah. away for him. I clean mine. With handy ones. Yeah, I do too. I, I do too. With I bet. I bet nowadays, though, if he were here and still performing with COVID, I bet he would watch him. <laughs> yeah, I bet he would too. <laughs> yeah. Um. I forgot. All right. <laughs> I was going to say something about the COVID, but I thought, well, no. <laughs> All right. Next question. Um. It says, um, do y'all have a favorite celebrity? That you got to meet while you were with Elvis. I have several. And um, it said, or you know, could you list 
list quite a few of the ones that you and then I figure there's stories behind that but you could I'll break into one. some yeah, yeah the, one that I, the one that I like and there's two stories to the different people but uh, we were on Prugy away um, we lived with Elvis the night the Beatles came up to the house um, up to his house and we got to meet the Beatles and like on a one-on-one -on -one, you know uh, they were great just as nice as they could be and um, I mean that was like unbelievable to people and friends of ours back here that we actually got to meet the Beatles but we did we spent the whole the whole uh, evening with them and um, went out to see them off and uh, in fact, there were some pictures in, in some movie magazines, the way they used to have those old movie magazines that we were all out saying goodbye to them. And um, um, I just thought... Yeah, the was, night Elvis shared his women with yeah. the Beatles. <laughs> and it, yeah, the, the headline was, The Night Elvis Shared His Women with the Beatles. The funny part of that, and they never let me live it down, is... I was pregnant with uh, Joey <laughs> and Sarah, uh, and Sarah uh, <laughs> with my maternity uh, top, and you know. And <laughs> but we did. We got. To, uh, um, and what been on sharing that kind of sharing? I'll tell you. I don't but it was funny. Severely about the head and shoulders. Yeah, were they nice? They, they were real nice. They were really nice. Really, they really, really nice. Uh, 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 every single one of them. And um, I know Alvina Roy was one of the cooks. And Elvis just invited him up. I mean, he didn't, you know, like you said, I'm not furnishing. I, I didn't think of it. He never thought of something like that. Uh -huh. But Alvina fixed things for us to, you know, and she brought him around to serve. And she was kind of like a heavy set lady, nicest, nicest woman you'd ever want to meet. And she stepped on Rick. Ringo's foot as she was going through. and I can remember him saying, oh, my, she's almost mashed my bloody toe off. <laughs> and they, but I remember, remember, well, you can say it better, but um, when they came in and met El to see him and Elvis was, you know, waiting for him there and they just stood, they didn't say a word. Yeah. They just stood and stared at him like in awe. He said, yeah, look, if y'all not going to talk, I'm going to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Got a broke the ice. Yeah. They, got, got they started laughing and. Um, yeah, it was a it was a good night. It was. It, it was. was. And it, I'll tell you this. I wish it could have been filmed, but it wasn't. It, it should have been filmed. It was. It was funny and it was cool as I'll get out. But um, Elvis had this table that I should, probably shouldn't even tell this. But well, it, don't. too late now. It was Elvis's table, but he had this table that turned. And it was a dice table, a roulette table, and a roulette table. Yeah. <laughs> and I remember them playing. Um, uh, and they lost a lot of money that night too because they played. I don't think anything ever really. Yeah, they did. They had. They played roulette. Roulette. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, to me, it was a lot of money. But ten dollars was a lot of money to me. You know. <laughs> but they had. A, well, it, it was not an all-night thing. It was just no. for about. 35 or 40 minutes. Something and, like that. Yeah, Joe long, and, yeah. and uh, George. And Colonel. You know, yeah, and Colonel that. was there. I can remember George um, going downstairs out to the pool. It was at nighttime, and I can remember him going down and going out and walking around the pool uh, alone. You know, he was kind of like a, the quieter one to me. But every one of them were great. And then you got to go over to their house the next day. Mm -hmm. But uh, getting back to the original question, uh, <clears throat> I got to meet a lot of famous people, actors yes. and singers. And, you know, I, I have a hard time naming them all right now. <laughs> I really would. But... You know, I some you know like uh, Steve McQueen, John yeah. Wayne, singers like Dean Martin and Johnny Cash, and golly, I could name them on and on. And you know, it's not fair to leave out one because they were. We should have brought your your book all, out where yeah. you have them all, your autograph. And pictures. Margaret Guy, you know, I mean, and just, I can I can never name all these 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 fantastic. You know, was Johnny Cash nice? Yes, she was. Mm -hmm. he was, he was, he was I, 
Somehow he, he was a lot like and, Elvis with his fans and all. Yeah. Uh, he, I always he wondered, was he, was he nice yeah, and laid he back, was. or did he almost have a, an attitude? You know, he, no, he, no. He was so uh, nice. So one or two, you know, had would have a you know certain attitude about them, you know that you did You know the people like um, Anne Margaret. Um, I I just thought she was the greatest thing because I I had never met her and um, I had seen Viva Las Vegas, but we were back here. Uh, Priscilla, me, and most of the wives were back in Memphis while they were filming that. Yeah. So I went out. Uh, uh, I started traveling with them at, uh, right after Joey was born. I started traveling cross country, and Priscilla uh, went out and Patsy, and we all started going back and forth instead of staying home. And um, I remember um, Joe Esposito and Joni Esposito. He was married to Joni. Uh, they lived on Beverly Glen, and um, they invited us over to eat at their house and um, one night. And they had invited Ann Margaret over too. And I remember hearing that wrong. <laughs> she coming riding up on this big old motorcycle. What was it, a Triumph? I think it was a Triumph, and, uh, if I remember right. God, that, that lady was beautiful. But uh, she sat in there and ate um, at the end of the table and, you know, just like just as down to earth as anybody. She had just yeah. gotten back from a tour of. Um, uh, entertaining the troops in was it Vietnam? I believe so. I believe so. And with uh, she Bob was Hope. with Bob Hope, and she was telling us about that. And uh, I remember Joni had fixed these um, uh, hamburger steaks, and she had a special way of doing things uh, and cooking the vegetables and things. We all had a little pouch there, and she just sat down like everybody else, you know, and opened up that dinner she had prepared we just sat around and talked and and um nicest nicest lady you'd ever want to meet i took my pouch with me <laughs> i got tickled when you said her because when well you know my age group but when i think about ann margaret i think about her and grumpy old men with oh, the uh, yeah. <laughs> she was much younger then but you know she she was um uh, she's always been a beautiful woman to me um but um I didn't know, you know, before I met her, I thought, hmm, you know, I don't know if I'm going to... Because I was kind of jealous, you know, of, of all that and uh, not being around at the time they did the movie, but she was so nice, so nice. Uh, I liked, um, you know, we got to meet Harry Morgan and... Yeah, and, uh, okay. yeah, so many. So, uh, what was the Hulk? What was his name? Um, Bill Bixby. Bill Bixby. Um, oh gosh, so many, so many. Debbie, you got Debbie Reynolds' autograph and mm. all that, and just so many people that were. I've met so many of them. Yeah. And you met a lot um, being on the set, on set yeah. of the movies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, like uh, if they film more than one movie. Yeah. It's the same studio. Right. I mean, they like to have two or three movies going at the same yeah. time. Uh, one where Elvis was uh, doing a movie at Paramount, and there was also a film in uh, Hattori with John Wayne. And John Wayne, and, yeah. And Red Buttons and all them. That's how you met um, James Brown and um, all them that were filming uh, 100 Rifles. Was it 100 Rifles? Yeah. 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 That you met. Jim yeah. Brown. Jim yeah. Brown. Yeah. 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 Jim Brown, I was thinking James Brown. Yeah, yeah, James Brown. Yeah, Jim Brown. Brown. Was just, yeah. <laughs> Jim Brown. Was, was did you ever meet James Brown? You met James yeah, Brown, yeah. Yeah. James Brown. And, um, and the um, the guy, uh, what was his name? A oh, great singer, loved his Lonely Teardrops. Come on, you know him. Jackie Wilson. Jackie Wilson. Yeah, we'll yes. see him at the yeah. trip. Mm -hmm. Well, the Jim uh, Brown is was that club. the roustabout picture? Mm -hmm. Or they? He was, yeah, he yeah. yeah. was on the set with them because he wanted to meet Elvis too, and you know they. But uh, like I say, I, I can't name all the ones. No, I, there's so many. The chance to meet and, and all the co-stars, all the co-stars. Oh yeah, and, yeah. And all the guys that were in it, you know, like um, uh, the um, Cosby, uh, Gary Cosby, and um, um, just all the uh, we used to, we say Sugarfoot, Will Hutchins. Yeah. Uh, just all those guys, Harry Morgan, like I said, and. So many of them. William Demarest. Yeah. 
just so many. Yeah, so, so many. many. But anyway, next because mm -hmm. we've so, uh, exhausted that one. Yeah, <laughs> we could go on and on and on yeah. with that. But I get um, excited thinking about it all I over too. again, thinking about them. Um, here's one that says, "Were you ever with Elvis when he got pulled over and got a ticket, and or got a ticket?" Yes, <laughs> uh, we were riding three wheelers. This one comes to mind just about every time because. But uh, we were riding three wheelers and all, and uh, this cop was on the corner or something, if it, best I remember. Anyway, we were coming down the, uh, the road, and and he saw Elvis and all, and he just done like that to pull over. <laughs> so we all, you know, we all pulled over and. and uh, he said, uh, he said, look, he said, uh, you know you're not supposed to ride without, uh, riding, you know, without having helmets on. And I said, I, he said, I didn't know that. He said, he said, yeah, we, we passed the law there that everybody has to have a helmet to ride uh, open vehicles like this. And he was a real arrogant sucker boy. And Elvis said, well, I, you know, I'm sorry. He said, I didn't know that. Well, I'm going to have to write you a ticket anyway. And Elvis said, well, you know, I, I understand. He said, did you know I could have these impounded and you have to go get them? And Elvis said, well, I, you know, if you got to, he said, I wish you wouldn't. Well, you know, we'll go straight on uh, back to home and all and, you know, put them up. And he said, well, you do that. You make sure you do that. And he was writing the ticket out and all that. And gave Elvis the ticket. Us too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we rode, we got the ticket. We rode on back to, uh, to Graceland. And boy, the more I thought of it, the more Elvis thought of it, the matter we got. I mean, the, the, just the attitude of this, this person. So anyway, uh, Elvis called uh, one of the sheriff's people and policemen. He called the chief of police and he said, you know, he said, this, you know, this guy was, he, he didn't have to be that rude to me. And he said, you know, I don't mind paying the ticket. Well, got to uh, looking into it. And back then, <laughs> policemen rode three wheelers, check all the parking meters and all mm -hmm. traffic things downtown. Mm -hmm. Also had mail carriers that had three wheel carts, you know, downtown, and none of them wore a helmet. So they uh, talked to the policeman. They had a nice talk with him, <laughs> and. Anyway, uh, they dismissed the ticket, you know, because yeah. because that very thing they didn't wear helmets either, you know. I mean, it was all three wheelers, you know. And but they did pass that law, and then we did for men. We had to you know, yeah. wear helmets. You know, we had to wear helmets with the motorcycles here out in California. I, I can remember when we never wore helmets. Well, they didn't back then. I mean, they just they passed that law later years, you mm -hmm. know. Do you think that that he did it? Because he knew who who it was. Oh, thank you. I and then he kind of really felt did, like yeah. maybe he could. Yeah, they you know he had didn't like power, it or just wanted to to you know, be the one who gave thing, him the ticket. You know, I can you know, <laughs> cause you love it freshly. You know, uh, mm -hmm, I like to <laughs> bad y'all, but nevertheless, you know, you had to you had to you had to be nice to them, you know, because they were you know. Uh, the law. Policemen, they were the law. They so, did. You know, they did. And, and we were wrong. You know, so he was. We he was respectful, though. To but, him. Always yeah. Was. Every, every other one, you know, I run into and all like that, they were all real respectable, you know. They may have given him a ticket, but they, you know. They uh, were I, that reminded me of something. Back, this is funny, too. Back when um, we dated. <laughs> you remember that far back? Believe it or not, I can't. It's got cobwebs on it, but I can remember. Um, Billy had a pink Cadillac, and he got stopped. And I wasn't nobody's food. <laughs> he got stopped by the police, and they were questioning him about, you know, because he was just a kid, a young, 
young kid. And I was not a kid. I was well, a teenager. Teenager. Uh, but he said, um, uh, "Look, he said, he said well, we could give." It. Billy said, "Well, either give me a ticket or just run me on hand." So no, they, they thought it was Elvis's yeah. mama's Cadillac, <laughs> and they asked me where I got it, and you know, what was I said, you know, it's it's mine, and. Uh, they said, well, it looks like his, and you know, he said, well, what, what are you doing out this time of night anyway? And I said, well, you know, I told him I'd been at a friend's house and I was going home. And, well, that show does look like, what they stopped me for is they said I didn't stop at the stop sign. And knowing me, I probably didn't, I you know, slowed down. I said, Paused. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah, and just briefly. Going. So, anyway, uh, I said, kept arguing with the guy and telling him that no this is my car and in a minute I lost my temper and I shouldn't have because mouth will get you in trouble every time I said yep. look <laughs> I said you know enough is enough I said either give me a ticket or run me in he said okay he said get in the car <laughs> got in the car and the other guy they ran you they ran him in they took me in <laughs> of course I you know, I knew one of the guys there, and he, you know, he told me, you know, he said, look, he said, no, just don't worry about it. He said, you know, I'll take care of it. He said, but always be respectful. I said, well, I was trying to be, you know, I said, but, I mean, they were practically accusing me of stealing, you know, <laughs> my own car here. You know. <laughs> so anyway, they... <laughs> And but, I got my driver's it, license in that car, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> but I always remember, you don't argue with them. Yeah. You just go ahead <laughs> and don't never tell them to run you in. Because <laughs> they're going to run you in. Because they'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> they'll do it in an instant, won't they? Yes, sir. <laughs> it, was, it was funny, but at the time it wasn't funny to me because you know, I thought, well, take you out of you know, I told you this is my car. And, <laughs> Uh, but I didn't have a I didn't have my registration with me, and that's something. Well, I don't. It, it, back then, the best I remember, you didn't have to. You know, you didn't have to carry your registration. I don't think all. you did. I don't remember. Because that was like you know, 1961. Uh, 60 or 61. 61 or 62. That's the best I remember. Anyway, so be it. <laughs> <laughs> Another fun field yeah. time. Yeah, it was. You want to do week? another one? Yes, sir. All, All right. right. We have a I'm couple. I'm on a roll here, yeah. man. You know. We just have a couple more on this, Liz. Um, one question is from, and I hope I pronounced this right, but Michael Reichenecker. He is in Germany. Um, he um, he recently purchased. Um, we had on our Facebook page um, all the King's Men, all the King's Men, the VHS set um, from 1997, and um, he purchased it. It's on its way to Germany. Um, but he said he did watch it. Uh, it was like a five-hour long uh, documentary that they have on YouTube that you can you can watch it yeah. on there. Um, and he said, um, in his opinion, it, it, it gives the clearest view of what life was like with Elvis. And he said, you know, there are lots of documentaries. They're all great. But he said he just felt like you guys really gave a deep, in-depth, clear view. And he said, do you, do you agree that... Well, first of all, thank you, and uh, you know, for uh, purchasing them, and I hope you enjoy them, man. And you know, uh, but I want to thank you first, you know, for that. Uh, I think we all did a pretty good job of uh, trying to tell, you know, about Elvis. But remember. He had a group of guys around him. Now, my whole thing was, back then when we brought this all the King's men, I really, and we tried, you know, I really wanted all the guys that were real, real close, you know, uh, around Elvis to all get together and we'd all do it. But, you know, some of them wouldn't and, you know, so on. But for me, and... The others that were in in it, they, I think we done a pretty good job of explaining, you know, as best we could, 
But remember that each guy around Elvis saw him in different ways. Yeah. You know, I mean, because we don't all think alike, you know. But uh, they had their story too, and you know. So you have to take, you know, what what you think. Uh, each one of them has to say and and take it and put it in perspective to you know uh, what they saw and what we saw and, and a lot of times we didn't disagree, I mean didn't agree on everything we disagreed on some things you know, probably a lot of things really when it gets right down to it but but as far as the group that was in that video I think we did a pretty good job and I, I do too and you know. Uh, Take it for what it's worth, you know. I mean, and that, there was different stages of his life. Yeah, different, so know, many different. Yeah, it was changes, you know. different yeah. changes and stages, and they all, you know, right. ones that had been there from the beginning to yeah. the end could. But you know, we all we all had our stories and and saw Ellis in different ways, you know. Um, in different circumstances. Right. Like, yeah. yeah. You may have a story say, here right. and they may have a right. story and yeah. their circumstance was different from yeah. this right. guy. This but, guy. But, but, you know, I thought, like I said, I thought we did a pretty good job. I had a, a, a guy reach out to me while I'm thinking about it. Um, I'll give you, you his... You should have slapped him if you did. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> to give you his telephone number, he worked on the set of All the King's Men. Oh, really? And, in uh, um, Mobile? In Mobile. Yeah. In, in Mobile. And um, so okay. I'll give you that yeah. while I'm thinking about it and okay. give you that information. Well, Danielle, you went with us down there. Uh, yeah. To, well, that's what I told him. I was down, down there. there. And he said, yes, he remembered. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we went. It was me mm -hmm. and you and Paris and Madeline. Uh -huh. And we went. Mm -hmm. Because y'all went out one night to dinner with all the guys uh -huh. and, the, and the set members, and we stayed with my mom. She took a, a glass of water to us, <laughs> not mine, and jumping on the beds and not mine. And <laughs> we went with uh, Sunny and Red and um, Pat. And we went in Sunny's Marty. van, didn't we? We went in Sunny's van. van. Sunny, he had loud yeah. music, I remember. Yes, that. he had the music so loud. And y'all got said, lost. And no, Billy said, he, we, we got lost. We were looking for, we were looking for lottery tickets. tickets. come out with lottery, lottery tickets. tickets. Yeah. And we go out was one of the only places with them. And yeah. he had uh, music going like big speakers. Oh boy. I mean, it was loud. <laughs> and he said, is that too loud for y'all? <laughs> I said, well, my ears are bleeding if I tell you anything. <laughs> That had me a nervous wreck of being lost. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we. <laughs> we that wouldn't be the first time no, we lost. No. Yeah, but anyway. Um, Next. <laughs> let's see. There are two more questions. Oh, God. Um, two? One of them is uh, as far as like everyday footwear, everyday clothes, did Elvis have his everyday casual cheese and clothes special ordered or did he go shopping and say hey I like that I'm getting it both uh, both uh, he had you know yeah he, he would go shopping sometimes himself and uh, a lot of times he'd see something that somebody was wearing and all and he would have something in his mind you know that saying what or he did he'd, you know, and he'd have it maybe changed up a little to suit his, you know, and a lot of guys went shopping and would tell him about certain things, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, Richard Davis did. Richard did. It. Richard would bring lot, bring know, things for him and, to look at, and uh, and a lot of his uh, Yeah, and if Elvis liked it, he'd get it or order it for Elvis, and um, that's why I think a lot of, after Elvis didn't wear certain things anymore, he would give them to Richard because Richard, uh, you know, was tall and. Uh, yeah. Thin and and Richard had good taste in clothes. Elvis thought, uh, uh, you know, not as good as him, of course. <laughs> oh, no. no, but yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, Elvis would go shopping a lot of times in, 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 in uh, side of ores and mm -hmm. out in California. And, uh, I know he had you and Joe some shirts made at side of ore one time. Yeah. He decided he, he decided he didn't like the t-shirts and things Billy and Joe Esposito were wearing so he sent them to, <laughs> he sent them there to have some shirts made that he liked he for liked. each one of them 
mohair suits. Yeah, mohair <laughs> suits. And, yeah. But uh, I said, heck, you know, why, did, why didn't he? He did tell me he didn't like one blouse I was wearing one time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyway, that was uh, quite an experience going shopping with him and, mm -hmm. and the way he picked out his stuff and all. And all but uh, anyway, Enough questions for right now. Is that all of them? We just had one more. Okay, we'll okay. go ahead and we'll, um, we'll finish it. Yeah, up that way. Um, and it, it's a good one. It's um, If Elvis were here today, do you think that he, he would like social media? Do you think he would like Facebook or Instagram? Or do you think he would say, that's I don't want them in my business? <laughs> uh, well, first of all, he wouldn't have let them in his business. business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now he'd want to see everybody else. Everybody else. Because he was very nosy. <laughs> he'd want to use like a fake name or something. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> uh, he probably would to a certain degree. degree. Yeah, you know what I degree, think? But about I, if, 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 if any of them, you know, uh, if any of them, you know, said anything about him, it was ugly and all that, you know, I think he would probably. Retaliate pretty yeah. good, you know. You think his mind would be blown at the smartphones and the technology? I don't think he would get on like uh, social media and, and attack somebody. No, I no, know when, no. I know he got really upset one time when Johnny Carson he had turned forty and and he said Johnny Carson said on the air, you know, that was freshly his uh, his. It's his birthday, and he's turned fat and forty. And whoo, whoo, whoo. Well, yeah, he, he <laughs> Elvis mm. went ballistic over that. Was that uh, one of the TVs you shot out? <laughs> uh, it may have been, but uh, I think too he wouldn't have liked the time to um, do it himself because when when he had a phone call or something, unless it was just somebody that he. You know, well, he could he could have like a, a media specialist. Yeah, he could have, but, but he didn't yeah, like. That could have been me. He did media specialist. <laughs> he just didn't look like to take time to go through all the details. Right. He liked everything real quick, and right. somebody usually would get somebody on the phone for him, and then he would take the call. Yeah. So uh, he didn't do a lot of those things himself. The only now, time he ever answered the phone, he won. Uh, <laughs> Remember, he said we he won that. Um, Vacation for us? Yeah, was on his private phone <laughs> yeah. upstairs in Graceland or uh, yeah. in his home in California. You know, he he might if if uh, somebody wasn't with him and you know answered the phone for him. But yeah, he'd, you know he'd uh, he'd answer the phone himself sometimes, but Not very, very seldom. Most of the time, it was call somebody for me and he'd take the phone or you know something like that. Mm -hmm. He just. Uh, didn't want to take the time. He did, to yeah, he didn't like. like he didn't do the little <laughs> simple things yeah. like you know. Um, that's what he had us for. Yeah, that's like he said. I I, I I pay somebody to do that for me. It's not that I think I'm better. It's just that I don't that's do. what I pay them for, yeah. and they do. You know, and, him. and that was true. <laughs> not that he not that he thought he was better, but he yeah. um. But he had the means to do it. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. And we had a job. And they had a job. Right. Everybody <laughs> wins. That's amazing. And with that, folks, we hope you enjoy this video. And uh, I'd like to remind you again, you know, if you tell all your friends, neighbors, and anybody else, you catch them out on the street and, you know, hold them and say, look, you got to <laughs> subscribe to this channel. And come sit around the table with us. Yeah. yeah. No, but it, tell all your friends and all. And, uh, to subscribe, you know, it don't cost anything, it's free, and subscribe. Uh, uh, otherwise, I don't mean to sound, you know, mean or anything, but if, if it doesn't, we just, you know, we have no way of keeping it going. I mean, you know, it's, uh, but uh, anyway, I'd like to thank all of you. Thank you. And be sure and subscribe, subscribe. and just remember. Elvis fans matter. Yes, sir. <laughs> Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching.